Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Olivia and uh, yeah, I do videos for fun. <laughs> Week's video is going to be super duper interesting because everything I'm going to be putting on my face is going to be $8 or less. So this is super affordable makeup. Uh, and it's good quality too. If this is something that is interesting to you, don't forget to grab your notebooks and your pens and let's get started. <laughs> this thing is first. I literally just woke up from a nap, so I need to refresh the face. Okay, so this isn't under $8, so I'm super sorry, but I'll tell you about it anyways. This is the Evian, um, sorry, my brain is switched off. This is the Evian Facial hydrating spray this stuff is amazing uh this was $12.99 from winners obviously so i'm just going to <sighs> wake up the skin hello good morning and now we're going to start so i literally have a huge bag from walmart which is where i purchased everything um and that's the stuff that I'm going to be using on my face. So, first step, as per usual, is primer. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. Now we're just going to take... Mm, how many? Oh, 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 it's a violet sprinter. It kind of just went all over the place. So this is about two pumps. I'm going to take that. This is... Definitely a silicone base. That is primer. Next we are going to move into foundation, which is going to be from Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I wear the shade Soft Beige. And we are going to just draw a couple tiger stripes. Also, foundation brush, not from e.l.f. That's definitely something I forgot to pick up. But again, e.l.f., you can find a foundation brush there for less than eight bucks. We're just going to work it into the skin. Uh, I don't know why I did this. I usually start with the eyes. Oh, oh. Note to self, don't film right after a nap. You have worked that out with a brush. Uh, we are obviously gonna go in with a sponge. This one is from, I believe this one's from e.l.f. I think, but I know e.l.f. has very affordable sponges, which are like four bucks, I think. I realized that I forgot to take off my uh, mascara from the day, so, we are starting this video off as a hot mess. <laughs> Use the sponge to get rid of any brush marks and to make the foundation look more skin-like. If you don't do this step, shame on you. Shame on you. This is an important step. Step is concealer. I'm obviously, this is not, not a new product. You guys have seen this before. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer. I wear the shade medium peach I don't feel like wearing too much concealer today today is a good under eye day but if it was a bad under eye day we would really load this on oh well look at that <laughs> I always go too heavy take that sponge and we are going to press this out Okay, now I did pick up, okay, so that is all done. I did pick up this one brush that I've seen, that I saw and it looked quite interesting. It says Flawless Concealer Brush. And I thought this would be good for blending the, oh, oh, it's so soft. I thought this would be good for patting out any of the lines under the eye before putting before setting the under eye. Ooh, it's so soft. Um, I have very sensitive skin around my eyes and my under eye. If a brush is too coarse, my eyes will water and they won't stop watering. 
for the whole freaking day. So, ow, my elbow. Ah, I had another concealer. I have the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Okay, well we're gonna layer this on. Pro Concealer, and this is in the shade Cool Nude. Ooh. Okay, well we're gonna try this since I have it. So this is going to be a heavier look than I thought. Just putting concealer wherever we feel like it. Ooh, okay. Talking about irritation, this is already stinging here. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the brush that it came with or what, but something. Hey, little pussy! A disaster has to happen, but yes, okay, because we're gonna figure this out. I guess we'll do what a bit of a heavier. Why do I look like this? <laughs> I mean, in my mirror it looks fine, but in the camera I look like Morticia from the Addams Family. So there's some concealer foundation that got on my lids. I'm just going to wipe that off. Okay, I'm just going to use my brush and pat everything in. HD under eye setting powder in the shade sheer it's actually quite small I was very surprised but yet again it wasn't that expensive. we need to set the under eye I don't know how this is going to work because that is really really tiny okay, so I'm just going to have the lid and I'm just going to a bunch of stuff in here and I'm going to take the powder and press it under the eye okay you know what I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand okay don't get any ideas now oh my god this is getting everywhere this is disaster oh my <laughs> that's okay okay so I'm going to pat this on I'm going to leave it on because we are going to do the under eye, or the under eye, we are going to do the eyeshadow, but we're going to leave that powder on because if there's any fallout, you can just brush that powder away. For today, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air Palette. This is a gorgeous nude palette, not nude, like neutral palette. How did I open this? I really should have thought of this beforehand. I didn't. Well, here we are. Okay. My God, there's another one. Get the hell out of here. I have a bunch of brushes for the eyeshadow. Uh, I picked up two of the blending eye brush and then one of the tapered blending brush. So I'm going to start with one of the blending eye brushes. I really like this rosy color, this one right here. I really like that, so I'm gonna try and use it. But I'm going to start with this shade right here. Actually, I'm not, because I need to prep the eyelids. Holy cow, I should not nap before taking a video taking a video, making a video. The, I'm gonna be prepping my lids with the e.l.f. Sheer Eyelid Primer. I'm going to put that all over the lid. I use the, that concealer brush to blend this out. Now we're gonna go into the palette. We're gonna take this shade right here and I'm going to use that in the crease. Ooh, how nice. Come closer, my friends. Oh, not that way. This way. There we go. I'm going to be using this shade here in the crease.
Okay, not bad. I feel like I need a fluffy brush. This is not a brush that I bought with for this video, but I did have it. I feel like I just need a fluffier brush just to blend things out a little bit better. Color right here, this one. These don't have names on them. I'm gonna take this one, because I really wanna use that plummy aubergine color. Okay, so I'm gonna take this color and I'm gonna put it on the outer third or the half of the eye. In the these, I'm really surprised. These are really, really pigmented. And I'm gonna take my non $8 brush and blend that out. Do the same to the other side. I'm really liking this and I'm super shocked. Those are super pigmented. I'm going to take the tapered blending brush. I'm going to dip into this, that color right here. And then I'm actually going to put this on the lid. Ooh, we'll see how this goes. Okay. I'm going to put this on the lid. to that first brush again and I'm going to pick up that very first shade that we used in the crease. I'm just going to use that to blend the seam of the crease to that burgundy. Okay, that is the look so far, but what's a look without glitter? It's nothing. So this is the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Liquid Eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Mystic Dreamer. This is so pretty. Have to have a look at this. Can you see that? It is really, really pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take some on the on the wand and I'm going to apply that over the burgundy. Ooh. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. So the cool thing with these is you put it on and it's a liquid, but then it dries down to a powder. I love them. They are so nice and it can take a look from day to evening really, really easily. Move to finish the complexion. I'm going to be using the Total Face brush, and I'm going to be using this to wipe away the bake, or the setting powder that we had put down under the eye. And if any of that eyeshadow fell onto my face, I can just brush it away. Set the rest of the face. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me, the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I'm going to be using the shade 125, I hope this is my shade. <laughs> pale, but as Tim Gunn says, make it work. We need bronzer, desperately. I like I look like a vampire. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. bronzer in the shade Golden. This is the packaging. And this is what it looks like. And it also comes with a mirror. So I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm just going to Go like this. I'm just gonna mix all the colors together. And I'm gonna use this to warm up the face. Oh, that looks so, it's actually really nice. I'm going to outline the jaw. To add some to the forehead, warm up that real estate just a little more. Cleanser is down. I'm most likely going to add some liner. So I'm gonna keep this right in front of me. Next, let's do blush. I have with me here the Wet n Wild <laughs> Icon Blush in the shade Fantastic Plastic Pink. 
could use the e.l.f. blush brush. Another soft brush. Okay, so let's see how this is. This? Okay, wow, look at that. Okay, we're definitely gonna tap that off. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. We really need to blend that out. <laughs> that is so pigmented. I, th I think this was like a dollar fifty. I feel like a clown. I'm gonna take our foundation brush and use this to blend the blush a little more. We are going to jump to eyebrows. I am going to be using the e.l.f. brow pencil and I think this is in, I don't know, it's a dark brown shade. I don't remember because I bought this a while ago. I'm going to fill in our brows. Else are filled in. I personally like to gel my la my lashes, my eyebrows up, just to make them look a bit more full and fluffy. So I am going to be using what is this? The Clear Brow and Lash Mascara from Elf, and I believe this is like two bucks, something like that. It's clear. I'm just gonna take that and run that through the brows. It is time for the best part of makeup, which is, you guess it, highlighter. Now that I think about it, I don't have a highlighter brush, so I'm gonna grab my brush that I generally use, so give me two seconds. In case you were wondering, this is a Real Techniques brush. I don't know what the, oh, it just says setting brush on it. And the highlighter I'm gonna be using is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Blossom Glow really like it and it matches the look too because it has like a rosy undertone so it's really gonna match oh hello highlighter how nice to be able to join us today <laughs> nose as always and since i'm not wearing glasses today i'm gonna take it up the nose and a little in between the eye cupid's ball other cheek. Oh, hi, highlighter. Hi, my name is Olivia. What's your name? Oh, finger and pat now. Okay. So, with the highlighter, I am going to take second brush, that second brush from the beginning. I bought two of these. I'm going to take the clean one and I'm going to go into the highlighter and I'm going to use this as an inner corner highlight right in here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to use my bronzer mirror. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the highlighter up, up here, just a little bit. Other side, and up. I really like this trick. I think it looks really beautiful. Okay, now we are going to add some color to the lower lash line. I'm going to take this color right here. I'm going to put that under here. Really, really light. It's like not even showing up on my skin. Dipping into this one right here. That was the second color that we used in the crease. And I'm going to layer that on top. I'm going to take that maroony burgundy color that we used on the lid. I'm going to apply that to the outer half. We're going to move to mascara, and here I have the Maybelline Falsies Flared. I used to use this one. Oh, this one's one that has the bendy wand. I don't know how this is going to work, but let's try it anyways. Yeah, no bad, no bad, no bad. I do another coat. We are almost done. It is time for lips. So I didn't really know what kind of look this was gonna turn out to be. So I ended up buying two different lipsticks. So these lipsticks are from Milani and they were around like 650. 
They are really, really nice. Super creamy. I bought, ended up buying two, as I said. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna do a nude look, in which case I would use like the super bright pink. Uh, and if I did a darker look, I have like a nudie pink. So the nude pink is in the shade Matte Blissful, number 62, and then oh, this one is so clear. I wish I planned this out better so I could have used this one, but it's okay. This one is in the shade number 64 and it is called Matte Orchid. I also got matching uh, lip liners are from Wet n Wild. I think so I got a liner to match each color. Um, and I have used this before and they're really, really nice. So this is the gel, the Wet n Wild Picture Pouch Gel Lip Liner and this is in the shade Never Petal Down. It is really creamy and really, really smooth. I like it. It goes on really, really easily and it's fantastic. And now for the lipstick. Again, this is the Matte Blissful. There you go. Look. I love it. I love, 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 love. Before we set the face, we need to see if we want to add anything. As always, I need more bronzer. We're gonna use this and just don't forget to bronze your ears too. Some people forget that. I'm gonna add a touch more blush, but we have to be careful with this one because it's so pigmented. I literally just tap the brush twice into the pink. To set the face, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1 Primer Water. This is what it looks like. And I think it comes in cucumber as well, but I like the rose, obvi. We're going to spray and dry. Okay, everybody, this is the makeup look for all of the products under $8. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Having makeup and putting on makeup does not have to be expensive and it can be super duper duper affordable. I think everything together, including all the brushes, I believe was around $70 or $80. Granted, you probably already have the brushes, you probably already have the sponge, so there are things that you could definitely eliminate that you already have so you don't need to go and buy a whole new set but i did because i love makeup but i was going to pick one thing that you definitely had to get it's the eyeshadow palette uh it is so good and it was super super pigmented and i loved it and i was actually really surprised with the bronzer too so these are two things that i really love as well as the I pretty much love everything, but the Milani lipsticks are awesome too. They come in a ton of different colors. Um, so that is it, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a thing or two. Um, don't forget before you leave to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and comment. Please, I like to interact with y'all, so if you'd like to comment, that would be great. I'm a brand new YouTuber in a sea of endless YouTube content, so if you would give me the subscribe, I would be forever grateful, and yeah. Um, that is it for me, and I will see you fabulous people in my next video. Bye!